Hey YouTube, this is Archangel, and I want to give you guys a demonstration of the different options on the Aqua Illuminations new controller. So let's take a look at it. Alright, so you got the uh, main screen right here. Um, at the top, you can see that the Aqua Illumination is connected wirelessly to the, my Vega. The icon on the top right there next to where it says Vega is telling me that the, um, the controller is programmed on the lunar cycle so when it goes into night mode it's going to adjust the intensity of the lights to the current lunar cycle currently it's running on automatic let me go back it's, in on, it's on auto mode and um, you can see the different intensities of my light setup right there but first let's go into the menus All right. Um, the first option is the timer setup, and you got easy and manual, one and two. So we'll go to the easy one and hit select. All right, and it's just going to ask you what time you want the sunrise to be and what time you want sunset to be. So mine is set up at 8:10 a.m. and sunsets at 7:45. And then the last step is the ramp time. The ramp time is saying, all right, how long do you want the sunrise to be? And I have it set to 25 minutes. So over 25 minutes, the intensity of the lights are going to change. So then we'll hit OK, the bottom left button. Next you go into the um, intensities of each light. This is my, my current setting. Is Let's see if I could kind of zoom in here. Alright, so you can see that we have the different colors, white, blue, royal, uh, deep blue, red, and green. And then those are the different um, percentages that each light is on. Um, I found this setting on my BioCube to uh, work pretty well. It looks like the corals and everything are doing fine. Nothing is bleached and, and um, all the polyps are fine. So after that, we'll hit OK and you're done. If you want, you can scroll down using the down arrow right there and you can enter manual timer setup I'm not going to go through that over here weather effects so we'll hit select we'll take a look and um, you could choose to start the weather now and you could hit yes so we'll hit the right arrow turn to yes do I want to enable it yes I do I'll scroll down yes it's enabled what is the chance, we'll scroll down one more, what is the chance that this weather is going to occur? I have mine set on 40% chance. Um, number of times per day, I have it set to 5, which is the maximum. Scroll down. Coverage random, partly cloudy, uh, mostly cloudy, or random. So you got three options, random, partly, or mostly cloudy. So what the weather effects are going to do is, it's going to dim your tank based off of I have it set to random to a mostly or partly cloudy day. Next you can choose to have lightning when the weather occurs I have it set to no and lastly you can set when you want this weather to happen. It's set from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Then you hit OK and you're done. You can scroll down to the next setup. You go to you could choose to set up your lights. Um, what it's gonna show you is the Vega or whatever Vega or Solar Nano, whatever you have set up to it, and whatever channel it's currently set on. If you have more than one light, you're gonna have more than one light displayed there. Over here's the lunar cycle. I like this feature a lot, it's pretty cool when it goes into night mode. Um, I have it enabled and my lunar cycle begins at 9 p.m. and ends at 5 a.m. and you just hit OK. So at night at, after sunset it's going to set the intensity of the lunar lights to the current moon cycle and just recently we, recently we had no moon so the lights were completely off which was pretty cool. And then uh, not too long ago was the full moon and uh, the lights, the, the lunar lights were actually pretty bright which is pretty cool pretty cool to look at at night. 
Over here you have wireless options. You could choose to use the wireless option or the um, you can choose the wireless options of the Vegas. If you have more than one Vega, you could choose which way you want it to sweep from left to right or right to left. Okay? Or all uniform. So if you have more than one Vega set up in a row, let's say one, two, three, four, it'll the lights will come on from left to right, right to left, or all at the same time. Okay, and then you could have the sweep speed on automatic, one minute, you could set it, or whatever you like. We'll just leave it on auto. Besides, I only have one Vega, so it doesn't matter. If you like, you could do a test run of your lights. That's the next option. Okay. But we won't do that. We'll go to the more, hit select. We go to you could put the uh, screen into a screen saver. Uh, number eleven is really useful. I use this uh, when I first got the lights. A coral acclimation. So we'll select that. When you get your light, you're gonna want to do this. You could hit enable. Yes, by hitting the right arrow over here. It's gonna enable it. Scroll down. And. Whatever you originally set your lights to, it's going to reduce it by, over here it's set to 50%. Or you could choose, using the left or the right arrows, you could reduce it by a different out 40, 30, 20, 60, whatever you want to choose. Okay? And then, you can set the start date and end date. Okay? When do you want to begin your acclimation, and when do you want, to, want it to end? Um, I believe I did mine for 7 days. So I just put a seven day difference between the two uh, dates and over the days it, it gradually gets, the lights get gradually and gradually more bright, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and disable this because I have not activated. Next you have switch modes. You can switch to manual mode which I'm not going to do if you want to have manual control of your lights you could do that but I don't want to so I'm going to hit cancel set clock is pretty self-explanatory firmware updates and then you have the factory reset which will bring this to back to brand new like you just got it okay so you hit back and we're back to the uh, one through eight uh, options and um, that's pretty much it if you guys have any uh, questions for me, you know, please feel free to leave me some comments in the comments section below. This is going to be Archangel signing out.